Welcome, 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 Pisces. Um, welcome, water signs. I want to say, um, welcome to the monthly readings. Um, and um, Pisces, um, this is the um, reading, the weekly business, career, and wealth reading for um, the last week of August, and it's for the Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that's how I come in. Pisces, Pisces, that's how I always do it. So, um, sorry for that. Okay, so what we're looking at um, in this week. Wow, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so... If you notice what is in the center, but before we go to that, um, there is some sort of a protection is here. You and your loved ones and your possession are safe and is protected by heaven. Now, whatever is happening and transpiring with your materialistic stability, because I see some of you Pisces is going to be having some major change in, oh my God. Some of you water sign people are going to be having some major change in your materialistic stability. Okay. Um, if you live in north, um, south, north, south, north, south, if you live in north, south, I see some endings is coming in. Okay. So whatever is transpiring it's about details because if you notice the north south some sort of an ending is coming up and it has to do with details is it the end of your contract is it the end of some sort of a um risk that some of you have taken i see that um if you were born or live or work in north south some sort of a contract ending is going to be coming up so be aware of it. Some of you at risk something and because uh, um, this is a game of chance. Some of you at gamble something and it did not um, pan out. Okay. So be aware of this. What has happened? What has transpired? If you uh, take a gamble on something, it didn't work out. Be aware of this. Okay, some of you had gamble a situation and it, it, it didn't work out. So if you notice the energy with the dice, it's about taking a risk. Some of you took some sort of a risk and it did not work out. Okay, then I see some sort of a conflicts. Some of you took a risk and now they're looking at the details. So, alrighty. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so... What we are understanding from this um, is that some of you Pisces risk something. You gambled on something. You took a risk maybe on a business deal. You took a risk on someone. You took a risk in doing something and you got caught. All right. So it could be that some of you um, had tried to, um, um, however you did it. You took a risk on something and um, it, 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 it fall apart. Um, whatever the risk you took, it fall apart. If you notice your reading water sign people, it is um, alerting you and telling you something. Something about the details. Okay, and an end is going to be coming to a contract for some of you. An end to a risk that you have taken. So some of you were trying to either get through with something faster and it didn't work out. Whatever that you did, you tried to get through on something very fast, but it didn't work out. And however, um, and however, and whatever this was that you tried to risk it didn't work out and it's going to you're going to be finding out that it fell apart in um in this week and it's it's really a pity um because it is better um whatever this is or this was that you take a risk on i see it's going to create a lot of conflicts a lot of conflicts and um 
you realize that it could be um, a business deal. Okay. It could be you took on someone. It could be that you change job. It could be that you um, you went in business with someone and you took a risk. You gambled on something and it didn't um, play out because people are starting to look at the details and um, is checking out um, the information around this thing. It could be something um, that has happened in the past. So, um, so I see um, some... Endings is coming in with a contract, a risk, a deal that you took. Um, it's not going to be pending out the way you thought it would. Um, some of you could have changed job and, um, and now you realize, yeah, it was not a good idea. The most powerful thing in your reading is 11 and 44 right on top of each other. And this is about um, duality. These are very strong, powerful number, and it's about duality. And as we look at the money, um, some of you, an end is going to be coming in to some money that some of you were receiving. Um, it, it's as if your business is going to be having some sort of an it for some of you, not all of you. People who were born north, uh, uh, west, um, uh, west, east, east, west, it is going to be good. But whoever was born in north, south, or south, or yeah, north, south, mm, but um, east, west, um, or west, east, it will be good. Money is going to be good. Some sort of a blessed change is going to be coming in where. A major life change is so as a, some of you, your business. So whoever it has a business or is doing business in West East or East West is going to be good. Okay. You can see this energy of money is going to be flowing in. Um, there is, um, the details and an end is coming in to something. An end is coming to a contract. An end is coming to a business. Um, for some of you, and this is really sad, um, what is happening and transpired. But um, this is what I always say to you guys. Go and look at the bi monthly reading. The bi monthly reading is going to be telling you what is happening in the last week of August um, and, and going in the first week of September. The bi weekly is going to be advising you as to what is going to be happening because whatever risk that some of you had taken this risk is um not working out okay so some of you could have um throw throw out the dice and expect that it's double six and you draw blank okay so whatever and whoever you had take on um to work for you or um, you could have taken a new job and you realize, yeah, mm -mm -mm. I wish I didn't. But instead of being saddened, you just have to understand, okay, it didn't work out. Um, so, you know, you look something else. Um, it didn't work out. So you're going to be looking for something else and this is going to be good. Then um, we see a whole lot of conflicts uh, um, in the beginning of the week for some of you. Um, because it's as if you took a chance on someone or something, um, whether at the workplace or in business and it didn't, it didn't work out a whole lot of conflicts, a whole lot of conflicts, but I see that you are protective, but it's as if the universe is saying, Hey, um, you, you, you never know what you're going to be receiving if you throw the dice. Okay. Um, a dice is seen as a risk factor. So you never ever know if you throw a dice or you throw something out there, you never, never know what is going to be happening because it is basically a risk factor. And whatever this risk factor that some of you took um, in the month of August, in the last week, go back the bi weekly and the monthly readings. So listen to the monthly, then you listen to the bi weekly. That is going to be advising you who and what, where you have 
um who is it that you took a risk on what is it that you took a risk on um because i see it's all about the details 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 okay it's like people are putting a magnifying glass and looking at the details so i see a transition is coming up an end is going to be coming in something some small details some small information that some of you were missing is going to be aware you're going to be aware of this situation because it's as if some of you were not looking at the details and that was the most important thing it was the details of uh, some documents some information it could have been your work um you could have been a lawyer looking at a case and not looking at the details of what is transpiring and this is what they're saying look at the details of what is coming up it's like use the magnifying glass and look at what is happening whatever is transpiring i see some of you or um you're still protected whether this thing go through it doesn't go through um you're going to be still protected there is no question about this there's going to be a lot of problems on the work floor for some of you so be aware of this there's going to be a lot of uh, communication a lot of uh, irritations that is going to be coming up on the work floor so be aware of that some sort of a risk that some of you have taken in the past i see that you're it is going to be coming to an end but the best thing about this week is that some unexpected money is going to be coming in so some of you if you were waiting for um some project um um to pay out some business um to pay out some invoices that was out to be paid it is going to be coming in in this week you can definitely definitely see um that uh, is something some it could be a legal issue um it's going to be paid out it could be yeah it could be a legal issue that is going to be paid out it could be some sort of a um situation some business um some of you could have done and collaborated and do some sort of a handshake with an investment the money is going to be paid out in this week but it's not to all of you let me be clear it's um with the people who are east anything southeast northeast okay anything that has to do with east that's where the money okay so if you live in northeast southeast you work in northeast southeast that sort of a thing that is where the money is going to be so um or the money could be coming up but it is a blessed um change that is going to be coming up some sort of an end to, to whatever um was going on with your business where um you know uh, payments was coming in time and that sort of a thing you were back on your payments because of uh, your clients wasn't paying you on time um that sort of a situation is going to come to an end where some of you feel as if, oh my God, um, if my clients don't pay, I don't know how I'm going to be surviving um, this month or um, going into next month or paying um, my, um, paying my, um, paying my, um, my work is going forward, um, you know, paying my costs. So it's as if I see some of you the week before ask the accountant or um, the uh, person who is in charge of collection and I see that um, um, accounts receivable um, did their work because I see a whole lot of you um, money is going to be coming in this week and that is good and you know but congratulations to whoever use accounts receivable because um, sometimes because I see some of you accounts payable is going to be um, coming at you yeah but we need to pay these and these are overpay and these are um you know over late payment is going to be coming up we have to pay late payment fees and this is one of the situation that i you know it, it is a sort of a money making honestly if you guys ever think about it it is a form of money making this late fees and there's no late fees in europe okay only in america 
and England, there's late fee. I mean, why? Uh, somebody can be late, it's going to be paid or what? And, um, you know, charging you um, money on top of that. That is just irritating. And it is a form of falseness and deceptiveness. Why are you going to pay? Sometimes people have to wait for their clients in, in order um, to, for them to receive. And people are going to be hanging on. Especially, this is why I say to you people, get rid of the credit cards. Credit cards is the doom of humanity and people won't understand. Because... You are paying these fees, these fees, and it's like fees. And um, I see that some of you are going to be changing some sort of a situation, how you deal with your client in order to find out when their um, clients pay them, when they, you know, you're going to be working together with your customer in order to find out when are they paid, what is the best time for them to pay their invoice, that sort of a thing. Or you're going to be asking for a down payment, that sort of a thing. So be aware of this, um, what is happening and what is coming up. Be very aware of um, the situation that is going to be transpiring in your world. Because I see a lot of changes is going to be coming in. But it's going to be good. You guys are going to be receiving some sort of a money at the end of the month. I Yes, I do know that it is uh, um, pay. Um, if you are paid monthly, um, but um, there is going to be like some money that was owed to some of you is going to be finally coming in in this month. I do love you guys. Go check out the monthly reading to see what is coming up in the last week, the bi-weekly to see what's coming up in the last week. And I am wishing you a wonderful week. Um, remember next week, um, the month of September is going to be dropped. So put on your um, notification buttons and your subscribe, subscribe. As you subscribe and these readings are dropped, you know directly. I got to go. Have a wonderful week. Namaste.